everybody, Ed Holmwood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. Look at this collection of audio erotica I have in my possession. Oh my goodness. Now these two pieces, these two amps and the two pairs of speakers are on generous loan to me from my good friend Kevin Mall at Sky Labs in Des Moines, Iowa, Vintage Audio Systems. You should go visit him if you can. His store is like a candy store for audio nerds. That, my friends, is a Pioneer SX5580 in black. Never available in the US in that color. Now, this is a 110 voltage P 110 volt piece, which is meant it was Pioneer designed it for sale through military PXs for US service people in Europe to purchase. So they were never available in the US. Really a rare piece. Look at how beautiful that is. I can't wait to get my ears on that one. And the other one. That is an Accuphase E202. Integrated amplifier circa 1974. What a beast. This is so beautifully engineered. It is a 100 by 2 into 8 ohms. And this is 1974, long before the receiver wars ever started. So this thing's an absolute powerhouse, and I can't wait to listen to it. Accuphase has an amazing sound, always has. That's a pair of monitor audio, Silver 100s. Not old, but not new either. ADS fans, pay attention. These are Braun branded, yes, Braun the Shaver branded speakers. Now, Braun owned ADS at the time. In the, US, in the US, it was marketed under the ADS brand, and in Europe, they were marketed under the Braun brand. So very unique, eight inch, three way, quasi bookshelf. That NADC 700 is on loan from my good friend, John Shepler. We'll be doing a review on that. And it wouldn't be an old guy, hi-fi, uh, review, discussion, whatever, without a vintage piece of Harman Kardon. And there it is. And then this one I'm really, really excited about. Uh, Leo at Orchard Audio generously is loaning me one of his Starkmanson Ultra GanFed amplifiers for review. And I'm really anxious to hear this. This is a new Class D technology, and it, I am just absolutely excited to death about it. On top of that, you'll recognize it is a shit Freya preamp on loan from James, your ABX audio file. What a great guy. What a great channel. Go subscribe and check him out. And he even sent me some tubes, vintage tubes, so I can roll. Oh, little glowy glass bottles. We love those. Man, I can't wait for that pair. Now down here, you'll see uh, a pair of vintage Wharfdale Diamond 8.2s, probably circa early 90s. A uh, really nice sounding pair of speakers, and we'll be doing a review on those. And by the way, all of the speakers you see here and all of the speakers you know I own, my Energy Reference and my Elax, they're going to all be in rotation for reviews on all of these products. Uh, that way I can get a really good handle because obviously each speaker has its own characteristics. The Wharfdales and the Elax being a bit warm. The Monitor Audios being a little bit... Um, more energetic. I won't say they're bright because my first impression of them is not that. Um, I don't know what the bronze sound like yet because I haven't hooked them up. And I know my energies can be absolutely just ruthlessly revealing. So we're really going to have a lot of fun with this. Now, in the comments, what I'd like you to do, and I'll put a, a, a voting thing on the community page as well. What piece do you want me to do first? I've got some really nice stuff here and I'm anxious to do all of them, but I will let you guys choose what to do first. Now, just so you're aware, if you pick the Pioneer or the Accuphase, it's going to take me about a week. The, each, <laughs> those two pieces combined weigh as much as a Peterbilt semi. So they're, I have to be super careful moving them around. They're, obviously, they're not mine. And they are quite heavy, and I don't have the world's best back. So if you pick it, give me some time to get it set up uh, and get some listening in. Um, I typically try to listen to stuff for, if possible, a week. Uh, or more uh, of good like four or five hours a day listening uh, so I can really make some good value judgments on them and obviously get a, get a feel for how they make me feel. Now the Orchard Audio product, I'm gonna, that's going to be a deep dive video. I'm really going to do a big in-depth one on that and I'm going to focus on that exclusively for a, a good period of time. I really want to hear this. It's, it's a brand new technology and as any of you who know, know me saw my Evo 150 review, you know I'm not or was not uh, very optimistic or very uh, pro class D amplifier. Well, the Evo 150 from Cambridge kind of changed my mind on that. And from what I understand, this thing's going to absolutely blow my mind and really make me a fan of class D. So I am very anxious to see. We'll see. I'm not 
Uh, I'm not going to presuppose what my decision will be, but it will be fair and it will be honest. But again, I'm, I'm so anxious for that. So anyway, guys, let me know which one you want me to review. Uh, obviously, please give me a like, a subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that social media stuff. Uh, disclosure, there are affiliate links, Amazon affiliate links in the description. There are also a bunch of playlists I'd love you to listen to. So give me a comment. Tell me what you think about any of my videos. Tell me what you think about my playlist. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me which one you want me to review first, and I'll be happy to do that. So this is Ed Homewood, the old guy hi-fi channel saying, would you go listen to some music already? Thanks so very much. Have a great day.